Hi guys, this is going to be a short video tutorial on how to uh, forward port 80 to your web server. That way people can access your web server from outside of your network. In order to do that, you will need to go to your router's um, IP address. This is for a Motorola uh, surfboard modem slash router and that's what I'm using right now and so um, it will be a little different than if you were to use a Linksys router um, but usually 192.168.0.1 is a good way to try or you can google what the default settings are and go from there the default username and password for your Motorola surfboard router is admin as the username Motorola as the password. I changed mine from the default. Once you're logged in, uh, go to advanced, go to forwarding. And as you can see here, I have uh, ports 80, 22, and 3389 forwarding uh, to my different servers. Uh, but what I'm going to be showing you how to do here is how to forward port 80 to your web server. Uh, so you will have nothing here and you'll go to create IPv4. And this is where it gets a little different than the Linksys routers and those other ones. Um, but the local IP is the IP address of your server, of your web server. Let's say your IP address is .0 .2. The local start port will be port 80. And local end port will be port 80. You do not need to fill out the external IP. External start port is port 80. External end port is port 80. The protocol is going to be TCP. You can do both. Uh, UDP will not work. You can do both, uh, but it doesn't. HTTP doesn't even use UDP, so uh, select TCP there, and then fill out a description. You can type web server. Or here, I just did the description of the port that I opened, which is the HTTP port. And then you click on the enabled here and go to on. And then click apply. And then um, from there on out, you should be good. Once you click apply, um, then you should see it in your, when you click forward, and you should see it here. Um, and all should be well. You can get on a... Uh, a computer from an outside network or you can disconnect from the Wi-Fi on your cell phone and uh, enter your domain name or your external IP address or your public IP sorry and um, try to connect if you don't know what your public IP is you can go to Google and type what's my IP and it'll tell you what your public IP address is and that's the IP address that you will be accessing from outside of your network um, and so when you access that public IP address what your router does is forwards you to the IP address, internal IP address of your web server. Um, and you can do the same thing with SSH, which I have done here, uh, and then remote desktop. If you want to access your computer with remote desktop um, from outside of your network, you need to open ports 3389, um, TCP, and you know you fill everything out the exact same way. Um, you want to be careful when you're opening ports always um, because, you know, depending on how, how secure your network is, you're always going to be somewhat vulnerable to attacks. Um, so you got to be aware of that and be conscious of that. Um, but yeah, I hope this video was uh, helpful for you. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Thanks.